New eToic actual test for listening. Test 2. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. She's reviewing some notes. B. She's writing a letter. C. She's reading a newspaper. D. She's looking through a book. Statement D. She's looking through a book. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer D and mark it on your answer sheet. Now part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The musicians are performing indoors. B. The players are packing up their instruments. C. The tables are being polished. D. The audience is clapping to the music. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. The computers are lined up in a row. B. People are typing on a keyboard. C. People are looking at a computer screen. D. The classroom has not been equipped with computers. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The interview is taking place indoors. B. The woman is editing a film. C. A man is supporting the camera on his shoulder. D. They are taking pictures of each other. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. The table has been covered with fruits. B. The baskets are filled with various kinds of pots. C. A variety of fruits are on display. D. The fruit has been sorted into bags. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. There are plants in front of the windows. B. The door to the building is being opened. C. There are chairs outside the building. D. There is a person on the balcony. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. The trail is steep and rocky. B. People are walking along the path. C. They are lying on the grass. D. A man is standing under an archway. Go on to the next page. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. Most of the people are reading. B. Large books are being placed on the shelves. C. All of the chairs are occupied. D. The patrons are checking out books at the library. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. Passengers are about to step into the train. B. The train is just pulling out of the station. C. One of the passengers is not yet seated. D. 
all of the people are reading a book. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. They are riding the escalator to the next floor. B. They are climbing up the staircase. C. They are descending a staircase. D. They are passing people in the hallway. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. A house is a construction. B. The man is pushing a cart in front of him. C. Firewoods are stacked beside the house. D. The wood is being chopped into the pieces. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They've spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, Where is the meeting room? You will also hear, A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at 2 o'clock. The best response to the question, where is the meeting room, is choice B. It's first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. When is your sister moving into the city? A. I've asked her. B. Next month. C. It's a busy city. Number 12. Are you thinking about increasing your staff? A. They aren't including us. B. Yes, I'm hiring two more people. C. Because it's mine. Number 13. Why did Mr. Rivera work late? A. He had a staff meeting. B. About an hour longer. C. At the branch office in Lisbon. Number 14. How long will you rent this car? A. 20 miles. B. Drive carefully. C. For three days. Number 15. Can I borrow your camera? A. I think I will. B. No, it isn't. C. Of course. Number 16. Do you want to make reservations at that Italian restaurant? A. Yes, I have the correct recipe. B. That was a great dinner. C. No, I ate there yesterday. Number 17. Are you paying cash or would you like to put it on your credit card? A. I'll use my card, thanks. B. Sign here. C. At the cash register. Number 18. You worked out at the gym a long time last night, didn't you? A. I'll go later. B. I will quit next month. C. Three hours to be exact. Number 19. What's the quickest way to get to the airport? A. One ticket, please. B. Through the tunnel. C. Yes, that's faster. Number 20. 
Wasn't the gas cheaper here last week? A. Yes, a cheap deal. B. I have a free pass. C. The prices have just risen. Number 21. How long have you been living here? A. Since 2001. B. Until the end of the year. C. Five months ago. Number 22. You were supposed to call me last night. A. He'll call back later. B. I apologize. C. Only one message. Number 23. Would you like me to file these reports for you? A. Yes, thank you. B. No is imported. C. They're on my desk. Number 24. Have you ever considered working as a teller at the bank? A. Do you think they're hiring? B. I'll tell her later. C. It closes at 3. Number 25. We really should reschedule the meeting, don't you think? A. Once a month. B. No, this afternoon is fine. C. In the conference room. Number 26. Can you tell me where to find the employment office? A. It's not located here anymore. B. Friday at 6. C. I found a job in the department store. Number 27. When is Karen returning from her business trip? A. At the end of the week. B. In London. C. It leaves at 2. Number 28. Why is the main library going to be closed? A. Several days. B. They're renovating it. C. Yes, it's close by. Number 29. His office is open late today, isn't it? A. I believe so, yes. B. Ten minutes ago. C. Please make an appointment. Number 30. Would you like a reservation for a table on the patio or indoors? A. Yes, it's more comfortable. B. We've already been served. C. Inside will be fine. Number 31. Which shampoo do you recommend? A. This one will work best for you. B. I'll take both of them, please. C. Oh, I don't remember it. Number 32. Do you know if the assistant manager position is still available? A. It hasn't been filled yet. B. No, he can't manage it alone. C. I think Mr. Clark likes your assistant. Number 33. Who's responsible for setting the alarm? A. He got a new lock. B. Mr. Fisher does that. C. No, he wasn't alarmed. Number 34. Are you watching the news right now or can I watch the game? A. Sorry, I don't have a watch. B. It began at 6. C. Go ahead and change it.
Number 35. When we have to wait in a long line to get the tickets? A. It has been a long time. B. A couple of dollars more. C. Generally, it moves fast. Number 36. This job should be done by six, shouldn't it? A. Yes, and then let's go home. B. No, I'm not finished yet. C. I got the job. Number 37. Where did you put the boxes of print paper we bought this morning? A. They're in the closet. B. I read those books. C. They're too heavy. Number 38. Why don't you come out for lunch with us today? A. Yes, they already left. B. Thanks, but I'm too busy. C. To get some fresh air. Number 39. Would you like me to do the laundry or clean the rooms first? A. Is in room 103. B. Please do the cleaning first. C. The laundry goes in the machine. Number 40. Do you know why the store was closed? A. Very close from here. B. I bought some clothes yesterday. C. Probably because of the holiday. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can get the shuttle bus? You can get one just outside the baggage claim area in the lower level. I was just out there, but I didn't see it. Then you probably didn't walk down far enough. I'm on my way to the car rental desk down there. Just follow me and I'll show you where it is. Number 41. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number 42. What does the man want to know? Number 43. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Christine. How was the movie last night? I couldn't go. I had to meet my lawyer to look over the papers for the house I put a deposit on. But I'd like to go see it tonight. Do you want to come with me? Sure. Do you want to go to the 7 30 show? No, I have to work until 7 tonight, so we'll have to catch the last movie at 10. Let's meet out front at about 9 30. Number 44. What are the speakers discussing? Number 45. What did the woman do last night? Number 46. When did the speakers plan to meet? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'd like to know if the gym has any part time positions available. Actually, we have openings for fitness instructors, massage therapists, and people to work at the front de desk. Great. I worked as a personal trainer for five years in LA. I have my resume with me and a couple of reference letters. Is there someone I can speak with today who is in charge of hiring? 
Yes, I'll let the program director know you're here. Meanwhile, why don't you fill out this application and you can bring it right into him? Number 47. Where does the man want to work? Number 48. What kind of work experience has the man had? Number 49. What is the man asked to bring to the director? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, John. I heard your company is relocating you to Florida in the fall. Yes, they're sending me to West Palm Beach. I'm really looking forward to getting in shape. I hear you can swim the ocean all year round. That's right. I took a cruise to Key West December. Many tr tourists from around the world go there to vacation during the wintertime. Sounds great. I'll have to be sure to check it out some weekend when I have time off. Number 50. When is John relocating? Number 51. What activity is John looking forward to? Number 52. What does the woman say about Key West? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hello, what time is your shop open till tonight? I need some flowers and balloons for my mother and father's anniversary. We close shortly at 6 and will be open tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. But I need them tonight. I'm leaving my office right now. Do you think you could wait for me? Well, I suppose I can keep the doors open until 6.15. But if you're not here by then, I'm afraid I'll have to leave. Number 53. Who is the woman shopping for? Number 54. What time does the shop usually close? Number 55. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Sorry I'm late. I would have been here earlier, but I was stuck in rush hour traffic for over 20 minutes coming over the Mystic River Bridge. Well, I already got the tickets, so we can go right in. Let's hurry. The show starts in 10 minutes. Why don't you go in and get the seats? I'll go get us some snacks and drinks. Number 56. Where does this conversation most likely take place? Number 57. How did the woman get there? Number 58. When is the show scheduled to begin? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Nicole Andrews. I called yesterday to inquire about seating arrangements for a party of 10 for Saturday evening. I was told to call back today and speak with Mr. Young. This is Mr. Young. I'm in charge of corporate dining. I'm afraid won't have a table available then. You can come in on Thursday, Friday, or Sunday anytime between 5 and 9 p.m. Okay, how about Friday at 7? That's fine. I'm so sorry we couldn't accommodate you. Please ask for me when you get here and I'll personally seat you and your colleagues. Number 59. What is the purpose of the call? Number 60. When will the man and woman meet? Number 61. What is Ms. Andrews told to do?
Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find books on arts and crafts? They are next to the magazine rack. I'll get one of our clerks to help you. Thanks. I spent 15 minutes looking in that area and couldn't find any. Well, we've organized that section last Friday, so I know they are there. Number 62. What does the man want? Number 63. How long has the man been looking? Number 64. What did the woman do last week? Question 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Jackson House, Mr. Bryant speaking. Hi, Mr. Bryant. This is Marilyn calling from Ford Automotive. I just received your message about a tr truck that broke down at your warehouse. I can send a driver to tow it at around 1 o'clock this afternoon. That means I won't be able to get my morning delivery out. Can you send someone out here right away to try to get it started? Well, I can put in a request for an emergency. Let me see if there's a repairman available this morning. Please hold. Number 65. What did the man do before she called? Number 66. What is the man's problem? Number 67. What will the woman do? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. I'm sure you'll love this mattress. Would you like to take a look at our bedroom sets too? Not today, thanks. I just moved into a new place and I need this mattress right away. Can it be delivered this afternoon? I'm afraid not, sir. But our workers will be happy to carry it out to your vehicle for you. Thanks, but it will never get into my car. Number 68. Where does this conversation take place? Number 69. What does the man want to do with his purchase? Number 70. Why is the man unable to use his vehicle? Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon, shoppers. I'd like to remind you that Saturday is our end of the summer sale. Doors will open at 9 a.m. The first 100 people to enter the store will get a free coffee mug, plus a $10 gift certificate. For great savings, just look for red tag items in home goods, fashions, and even electronics. But keep in mind that the sale is final. No refunds or exchanges will be issued. Number 71. What is the purpose of the announcement? Number 72. Where is the announcement probably being made? Number 73. When will the event begin? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following introduction. It is my great pleasure to introduce Sherry Thomas, who will assume the position of Library Director at the University of Colorado on September 1st. Sherry graduated from Ohio State College with a Master's Degree in Library Science. 
She, she was a librarian at Kentucky State before I hired her to work here at the University of Chicago in 1999. Sherry and I have worked closely together, and I have grown to depend on her. On this happy and sad occasion, I prefer not to think about losing a staff member, but rather about gaining a director colleague. I certainly look forward to discussing library issues with her in the future. Number 74. Who is Sherry Thomas? Number 75. Where does the speech take place? Number 76. What does the speaker suggest about Ms. Thomas? Question 77 through 79 refer to the following information. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll spend the day visiting two wonderful D.C. museums. At the Metropolitan Museum of Art, we'll see American paintings. First, we'll view Alan Schumann's Decorative Arts Exhibition. Then we'll tour the American landscape with Rena Wood, longtime museum M educator and speaker. At the National Design Museum, we'll visit the unique design and tools of the trade exhibits, created by Sally Raymond, head of the Design Art Department. You'll have plenty of time to browse in the gift shops at both places. Admission is free with a hotel voucher and lunch is on your own. We will walk the six blocks between museums, so please wear comfortable shoes. Number 77. What type of tour is this? Number 78. At which exhibit will there be a guest speaker? Number 79. What is free for people who have a hotel voucher? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. As a new business owner, you should develop friendships with local shop owners. You'll find they become very supportive rather than competitive. That's something I discovered when I opened my first sporting goods store 20 years ago. Local shopkeepers offered me advice and even sent their customers to me. I met my business peers when I joined the Low Business Association. I learned right at the start that we were all looking for the exact same thing, more business. So by, by banding together and offering referrals, everyone benefits. And referrals are a powerful way to increase your business. Number 80. For whom is this talk intended? Number 81. How long has the speaker been working in his profession? Number 82. What advice does the speaker give to listeners? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Brenda. This is Kate. I'm calling to let you know that I'll be a little late for the picnic tomorrow. I have to go into the office for a few hours in the morning to finish a report. I should be done sometime between 12 and 1. Then I plan on stopping by Linda's house for a quick visit, since she's sick in bed and can't join us. After that, I have to go by my house to pick up some food that I prepared for the picnic. I should be there by 2.30. See you and Michael then. Number 83. What is the main purpose of the telephone message? Number 84. Who is unable to attend the picnic? Number 85. What time will Kate meet her friends? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following message. 
Hello, this is Janet Johnson from the accounting department at City Power calling at 4 p.m. for Kevin Mitchell. According to our records, your account is two weeks overdue. To avoid an interruption in service and a disconnect service charge, your payment must be received within 48 hours of this call. To arrange for, for payment, please call me during business hours weekdays from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. or Saturday between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. You can reach me at extension 21. Thank you. Number 86. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 87. When was the bill supposed to be paid? Number 88. When does the company close on Saturday? Go on to the next page. Questions A9 through 91 refer to the following business report. Consumers are being asked to return cell phone batteries made by Starkey Corporation. TM Corporation, the world's largest cell phone maker, was seeking the recall of Starkey batteries installed in their cell phones. This is the third recall in recent weeks involving Starkey batteries. Last month, Bell asked customers to return 4.2 million batteries, warning they could catch fire. Last week, Tamika said it was recalling 350,000 batteries due to a problem that caused phones to run out of power. Consumers will be sent replacements immediately. Number 89. What is the topic of this report? Number 90. What will Starkey Corporation do immediately? Number 91. According to the report, how many companies use Starkey's product? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Our bank's mission statement focuses on customer satisfaction. In an attempt to meet customer expectations, I've devised a customer experience plan which I believe will help us better understand the needs of our customers. Each of you will be asked to visit three of the local bank branches I've listed on today's handout. First, you will just walk in and observe customers. Second, you will complete a typical customer task, such as opening an account. Next, you must ask actual customers questions, which I will discuss in detail later. To get started, I'm going to pass around these credit card application forms for you to fill out. Number 92. What is being announced? Number 93. What will the employees receive? Number 94. What were employees given a list of? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following news report. May a pharmaceutical company plan to release a new line based on an existing product by early summer. They assumed that the same manufacturing processes could be used since the same materials were used in both products. The process was successful on a small scale, but when applied to a large amount, pumps and valves malfunctioned. John Avery, president of Mayer, announced that he will form a team of chemical engineers to examine the problem. He says that it is imperative that they make formulation changes that will allow the equipment to function properly so they can release the new product on schedule. Number 95. What is the main subject of the report? Number 96. According to this report, what is important for the team to do? Number 97. 
What did Mr. Avery announce? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following radio advertisement. Are you looking for rental furniture that will save you money and also look great in your office? Carl's Rent-to-Own Furniture Store has brand names and top-of-the-line furniture, computer, and other great rental items. With the right rent-to-own furniture and appliances as well as payment options, you can furnish your entire company's offices. Carl's is continually beating other business sales and specials. Our unmatched purchase price policy allows us to offer the best purchase and payment terms year-round. We offer great prices and affordable payment options, combined with excellent customer service, great selection, and convenient online sales. You'll find great bargains every day. Browse online at carls.com to find and lease everything you need. Number 98. Who is this advertisement for? Number 99. What is being advertised? Number 100. How can a listener make a purchase? This is the end of the listening test.